Can fish survive climate change? That's the big question that researchers at the University of Washington looked into. The study, published on Nature Climate Change, looked at data to predict how 3,000 fish species living in oceans and rivers will respond to warming water temperatures in different regions. The researchers found that marine fish in the tropics and freshwater fish in higher latitudes of the northern hemisphere were the most at risk when water temperatures warmed. Fish in tropical oceans are already living in water that is approaching the upper range of their tolerance, while fish in freshwater streams in the north don't have the tolerance for warmer waters. If climate change causes the water in freshwater streams to heat up, the fish only have a small window for survivable temperatures. Fish in these critical areas need to be able to move freely, but the concern is whether dams and other infrastructures will prevent them from being able to. For more on this story, visit seafoodnews.com. Now we'll take a look at Erner Berry's HRI Buyer's Guide, a weekly publication dedicated to current commodity prices being paid to wholesalers and purveyors by hotels, restaurants, and institutions. Here's marketing assistant Nicole Christie with the latest movers of the week. The chicken wing craze appears to have slowed down some. Market values are still inching slightly higher. Medium and jumbo sized wings are currently listed at an all time record high as retailers and food service operators are absorbing all they can get their hands on for the 2017 2018 football season. We're starting to hear that some buyers are retracting their promotional features because of the price, but so far it's had very little impact on the market as a whole. In the beef market, retailers are starting to book product for the fall season, and rounds seem to be the target of their buying. This has kept prices in the spot market moving higher, and HRI operators were forced to pay nearly a 7% premium. Egg product prices continued to trend sharply higher this week. The move is motivated by increased raw cost, better domestic demand, and international conditions. Asking prices are held confidently in all forms, with yolk the focus of domestic seasonal needs and export buyers. Thanks, Nicole. That concludes our show for today. Thanks for watching, and be sure to head over to the News tab in Comtel for a comprehensive look at the latest market and industry news. Today's video is sponsored by Epsanos Market Insight for the Meat Industry, providing information, education, and insight for the beef, pork, and poultry industries. View a sample report at Epsano.com or call 800-932-0617 to get your free sample today.